welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Beautiful You Wig Reviews. I am so glad that you are here today. Before I get started on this video, I just wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button below and also hit that bell. And then you'll get a notification letting you know every time I post a new wig related video. And also, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a like. So today I'm excited to show you this beautiful style. This is Holly and this is by Uniwigs La Vivid line, which is their line of synthetics. The color on Holly is Caramel Kiss and the code for that is 8-135R. She is a beautiful lob style and I cannot wait to tell you more about her in just a moment. Okay, so Holly. Holly is, like I said, she is a really pretty lob style. She's a heat-friendly synthetic. Uh, lengthwise, she is, they just have her listed as 14 inches long. So she's pretty much, I think she is just all one length. I don't see layering in the style, but she hangs very nicely. They do have her density listed. That's something that they do on their site and they have her at 130%, which if you don't know anything about density uh, measurements, that is a, a low density. So she does not have any permatease or anything like that, which is really, really nice. So she is just a beautiful wig. So I'm gonna do a turn so you can see her all the way around and then we'll get into talking about her lace front and stuff like that. So very, very pretty. I, I love the appearance of the fibers. These are their real tress fibers, which are heat friendly synthetic fibers that are made to look like human hair. So really, really pretty fibers. And I love the style. It's just, it's hanging very nicely. I love that it's low density. So very, very pretty. So here she is from the front. Love the way these layers are pointing enough. If you wanted to, you could straighten those out more. If you wanted it a little more edgy, you know, less traditional looking, you can do whatever you want to. So this is my right side. Here's the back. My left. And back to the front. Okay, so she is a left side mono part and a lace front. She did come with a lace that I had to cut and I posted a video showing you how I cut that lace, but here's a picture of her before I cut the lace. I just took this picture and held the lace out because the lace was is so close to my skin tone. It was really hard to see. So anywho, so here she is. Here's her lace front and it's really, really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. You know, even though this is a brunette, you know, it's an eight base, so it's a, a medium brunette, but um, you know, the knotting looks really, really good. And the nice thing about being having that lace, there was lace that went down to about here. The nice thing about that lace front is you can customize your lace front. So if you want to go in, you know, and make it so it's not quite so perfect, I cut it a little, you know, I didn't worry about cutting it perfect. I cut it on my mannequin head, as you'll see in that video, but um, you know, I didn't, I didn't worry about making it too perfect. And you can also do some plucking if you want to, but you know, you, it's just a way to make these styles your own, but I think the lace front's really, really nice. The mono part also is really, really nice. And then I have good coverage. They have her cap size listed as 22 inches. And of course, I'm a 21 inch circumference. They list them by circumference. So it's slightly big. So when I pop it off, I'll show you the inside of the cap and how I pulled the adjusters in. But ear to ear, it is not uncomfortable on me. The cap is not impinging on the back of my ears or anything. So, and I have good coverage around the face. So I am happy with the fit, even though it is just slightly, you know, bigger than my circumference, so. But it's got nice metal in there that you can, you know, push down, but really nice ear tabs. Looks really, really good. So for off the face styling, it's gonna be just lovely. Um, cap wise, you know, there is a little extra forehead to nape, just a little extra, but it's not bulky at all. Once I pulled that circumference in, it is really, really comfortable. So I'm very, very happy with it. So very, very pretty. Okay, I will pop her off and we can look at her interior cap construction. Okay, interior cap construction for Holly by Uniwigs La Vivid. So here is that left side mono part. Here is her lace front. So you can see where I cut that lace front. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just, I just cut it right along the hairline. The lace front does extend down onto the ear tabs a bit, which is nice. There's some closed lace here, but there's no permatease. And here you just, over here as you're getting into the closed wefting, so. 
So here's her ear tab. Her ear tab is covered, you know, with the soft um, felt. Good sized piece of metal in there. The, her cap construction is closed wefted, which is really nice because it's very comfortable. It feels like a hand tied cap on your head. So very, very comfortable. So here you can see she's got hook adjusters. She has, does have an extended felt nape, which is nice and comfortable. She has hook adjusters. So you can see where I pulled it in on both sides there, moved those hooks, but they are staying in place. Really I'm push that one down a little bit, but so far I've worn it, you know, and it's the, the hooks are staying in place very, very nicely. And even though you're seeing some wrinkling on the inside of the cap here, that is not showing on the outside of my head. So don't be worried about that. I wore this in a ponytail the other day and you could, you know, it, you could not tell that there was just a tiny bit of extra circumference there in the cap. So don't be worried about that if you're petite. I know I know, I, know I have a lot of petite viewers and um, you know, I think you're still gonna find that this cap will fit you just fine. So there's that lace front, mono part, really, really pretty, beautiful wig. Okay, I'll pop her back on and we can talk about the color. Okay, let's talk about the color on Holly. This is Caramel Kiss, which as I said, the code for that is 8-135R. I could not find a color, color description on their website, so I'm just gonna do my best to just describe what I see, which sometimes I think is better anyway, you know? So I'm, I'm guessing that the eight is an eight base, which is a nice, pretty medium brown, almost looks more like a six to me, the brunette in it. Um, but so, you know, a six to an eight, every company has a little bit different interpretation of color codes. So this is an eight, so we'll go with it, but definitely it's not a light brown. In my opinion, it is a medium brown. And then I'm seeing a highlight to go through this, which looks to my eye a bit of a reddish brown or a caramely brown, depending on how the light hits it. So I think that uh, there's a little bit of both going on. So really, really pretty highlight that's in the color. I think it's a gorgeous brunette. It's very, it's warm and um, just very pretty. Not overdone, you know, chunky with the highlight, just a, a subtle color change, you know, added in there. And I just think it's really, really pretty. Sorry, when my face isn't on the camera, sometimes it glares out, but um, trying to show it to you though, as close as I can. So, but so you can see as I get closer and it gets light, more light on it, it looks a little reddish. Um, but I definitely describe the color as, you know, warmer, um, just really, really pretty. Highlights are throughout the wig. really, really pretty. Okay, let's take this color outside and we'll look at it in the natural light. So outside here with Caramel Kiss on Holly by Uniwigs. So you can see what I'm talking about with those uh, colors that are in there. Sort of caramely highlight. Very, very pretty. So here's the sun on it. And I will step out of the bright sun. Also, here's the lace front and that mono part out here. Okay, such a pretty color, really, really pretty out there in the sun, especially where you could really, you know, see those colors pop. So, um, one thing I will say about her, because she's all one length and she, you know, goes below the shoulders, 14 inches, I am needing to comb her and just keep the tangles out. So, you know, if you're going to work or whatever, you might wanna take your, you know, have your wide tooth comb with you and just, Run a comb through her, you know, just maybe 
if you run to the bathroom, comb her or something like that, you know, just kind of comb her a few times a day just to keep her from getting too tangly, you know. Um, I haven't had a huge problem with her being tangly, but this length, you know, with synthetic hair, I always find that it tangles. So, I mean, it tangles in human hair too, so, you know. But anyway, just a little tip. So, I wanna show you, I'll put her behind my ears. She does ear tuck very, very nicely. And this is where I'm saying, like, even though that cap is a 22 inch, you know, I'm having no problem tucking it behind my ears or anything. So, you know, it's not a huge cap. So don't feel like if you're petite, that's gonna be a problem. So glasses work, you know, really well with her. No problem. You can put them up on your head, no problem. So, you know, they're just working great. I put my glasses over my ear tabs. That's just the way I do it. I had a horrible experience with putting them under one time and I had to sit through a meeting in a lot of pain <laughs> because I didn't know how to put glasses on with a wig. So that's why I started putting them over. So um, I'll show you her with a headband. I always like to show a headband. You know, she's perfect for a headband. Looks very natural, very pretty, you know. She just looks like long straight hair and you can also curl her. She's heat stylable up to 300 degrees. So if you wanna put some, you know, get your curling iron out or your flat iron and, you know, do some waves or some curls in here, you can certainly do that. You could get some really pretty curls, you know, down on the ends. So really, really nice. Uh, one thing I love about this wig is she is an amazing ponytail wig. So first I'll show you before I do the pony, you know, she looks cute half up, half down. Looks really pretty like that. So you could just, you know, stick in a claw clip for that. And then ponytail works out so pretty on her. She would be pretty for a lot of styling. You could braid her, you know, you could, um, there's just all kinds of cute stuff that you could do with her. So, but ponytail wise, she's so cute. I'm like, this is one of my favorite wigs for a ponytail. I love a good ponytail wig. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna put the elastic in there just to show. Let me do one more. One more tug on that elastic. Now, of course, with heat-friendly fibers, you gotta be careful putting elastics in and all that, but she's such a great ponytail wig. I just had to show her. So she has like little baby hairs down here. I hope you can see those on camera. And they look really, really good. And then ponytail-wise, she's just super cute. I think I moved her back a little bit, sorry. Really, really cute in a pony. So that being said, if you can do a pony with her, then, hold on, let me straighten her out. I would normally, I would tape her down. <laughs> so I don't like, I don't tape them down for the reviews because I'm pulling it on and off, but you know, I would put some tape on her lace front to keep her in place. I did that the other day when I wore her in a pony. She's also low density enough that you can put like a baseball hat over her. So, so anyway, but you could just give her a twist, you know, and then put her up with a claw clip. Never know if I can do this on camera right. I think I did. <laughs> so, you know, it, I obviously I would do that it would look neater if I did it, you know, for real life. But anyway, just the purpose of the video, just to show you. And then of course, you know, you can just, if you're working and she is a bit of a face, face flopper, you know, just take a little clip with you and just clip back her very front. That's how I've been wearing her this morning, just cause I was looking down at my iPad and stuff like that, you know. So just clip her back like that. So all kinds of things you can do with her, you know? She's got this beautiful lace front, so you know, you could clip back the whole front if you want to. You know, that would be cute too. So she's very, very versatile, which I really, really love about her. So try to get her part straightened out after messing around with her. Anyway, so I wanna thank Uniwigs for sending me this wig to review for you all today. There will be a link for purchase below. I also have a coupon code where you can save 15% and that code is brunette. I will post that right here. So thank you so much for watching today and don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. Bye.